Not all Mafia induction ceremonies are held in the basement of a house or the back of a restaurant. Some ceremonies have occurred in prison toilets, during weddings, and one even took place in the back of a car. Let's check it out. I'm James Gladwish and welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Today, we're going to take a quick look at a selection of unusual Mafia induction ceremonies. A traditional Mafia induction ceremony is usually held in somewhere like an apartment, or the basement of a house, or in the back room of a restaurant. A gun and knife are placed on a table. A picture of a saint is burned in the hands of the proposed member. However, there are examples of more unusual and makeshift ceremonies. In 1962, Philadelphia mob boss Angelo Bruno made plans to induct four mobsters into his crime family. However, in an interesting twist, Angelo Bruno decided to perform the ceremonies at a wedding without telling anyone in his family beforehand. Even his underboss Ignatius De Naro and his conciliary Joseph Rugnetta had no idea of Bruno's plans. As one FBI file states, PHT3 learned on December 22, 1962 that Angelo Bruno had, at an earlier date, assembled a group of Amici Nostri of the Philadelphia family of La Cosa Nostra for the purpose of making an additional four members for the Philadelphia family. Bruno stated to informant that the new members were made at a wedding, which took place in Trenton, New Jersey. Bruno indicated that he did not confide in anyone prior to the wedding that he intended to make four additional members. However, he stated that he made certain the four persons in whom he had an interest would be present at the wedding. Bruno stated, according to informant, that while at the wedding he advised Ignatius De Nero, underboss of the Philadelphia family, and Joseph Rugnetta, consigliere of the Philadelphia family, of his intention. Subsequently, Bruno called in the Kappa regime present at the wedding, advised them of his intention, and then the four new members were made. Interestingly, after Angelo Bruno announced at the wedding that he planned to induct four new members immediately, Antonio Tony Bananas Caponegro approached him and asked if his brother-in-law, Alfred Salerno, could also be inducted at the wedding. As one FBI file states, PHT3 further learned on December 22, 1962, that while at the wedding, Bruno was approached by Tony, last name unknown, believed to be Antonio Caponegro, with the request that his brother-in-law also be made. It is believed Caponegro's brother-in-law is Alfred Salerno. Angelo Bruno had previously considered inducting Alfred Salerno, but Caponegro had not wanted to have his brother-in-law made. However, at the wedding, Caponegro changed his mind and made the request to Angelo Bruno. The FBI file continues... Bruno told informant that he had for some time desired to make Caponegro's brother-in-law a member of the Philadelphia family. But the Caponegro was opposed to his idea. However, Caponegro changed his opinion on the occasion of the wedding, but that he changed his mind too late because Salerno was going to be incarcerated at Atlanta Penitentiary during the following week. It appears that Antonio Caponegro wanted his brother-in-law inducted before Salerno went to serve a stretch in prison. However, Angelo Bruno had declined the request as shown in the following file extract. Bruno told informant that it was necessary for him to tell Caponegro that before a new member is admitted into the family, it is necessary that he be proposed and that all the members of the family have to be asked if they have any objections to making the proposed member. As we can see, Angelo Bruno had to turn down Tony Caponegro's request to induct Alfred Salerno 
because there was no time to circulate Salerno's name to other members of the family to see if there were any objections. The induction of Los Angeles mobster Mike Rizzi Rizzatello is another unusual example. In June 1976, Jimmy the Weasel Fratiano, Frank Bompensero, Louis Dragner, nephew of Jack Dragner, and Mike Rizzatello were discussing performing an induction ceremony for Rizzatello. The group of mobsters then decided to perform the induction ceremony in the back of a car. As Ovid Damaris documented in his book, A Biography of Jimmy Fratiano, the book states, OK, so where are we going to do it? Bomb asked. Jimmy shrugged. Let's do it in the car. Find some deserted spot and park. We don't have a gun and knife, but I brought a pin. Dragner drove and Rizzi sat in front with him, with Jimmy and Bombardero in the back. A few miles out of Moretta, Dragner swung onto a dirt road and stopped when they were out of sight of the highway. They held hands while Bombardero quickly rattled out the strange-sounding liturgy, the cigar clamped tightly in a corner of his mouth. With Jimmy also puffing on his cigar, and with the windows closed, the car was quickly filling with smoke. Bompensero said, That's it, now for the blood. Mike, give me your right hand, the trigger finger. Jimmy punctured the skin and squeezed until he saw blood. Mike, this drop of blood's a symbol of your birth into our family. We're all as one until death. He paused and smiled. That's it, Mike. Now we kiss and the four of us hold hands. You're now one of us. Congratulations, Amico Nostra. They kissed and held hands, and Dragner opened a window. Let's get moving, he said. I need some fucking fresh air. There have also been instances of induction ceremonies taking place in prison bathrooms. In 1993, Michael Baldy Mike Spinelli was being held in the Manhattan Correctional Center. Spinelli was on trial for racketeering and his involvement in the attempted murder of Patricia Capazzello, the sister of Lucchese family captain turned informant, Peter Fat Pete Chiodo. While being held, Baldy Mike Spinelli had complained that he was yet to be inducted into the Lucchese crime family and wasn't receiving the credit that he felt he deserved for the attempted murder of Kyoto's sister. And so, in January 1993, Mike Spinelli was inducted into Cosa Nostra in a ceremony in the bathroom of the MCC. The ceremony was conducted by Anthony Gaspipe Casso, who was also being held at the MCC. A witness to the induction was Lucchese crime family captain Anthony Boat Baratta. Journalist and author Jerry Capisi would report on this induction as follows. They had to do without the gun and knife, normally used as props in the traditional ceremony. And instead of a picture of a saint, the gangsters set toilet paper afire in Spinelli's hands as he swore allegiance to the Lucchese family. Interestingly though, there were reports that mobsters in other crime families refused to acknowledge Baldy Mike's status as a made man. Jerry Capisi again reported, While the Lucchese's considered Spinelli made, many jailed mobsters from other families refused to respect him as a friend of ours for a long time, according to prison sources. In January 2011, Colombo family mobster Ilario Fat Larry Sessa was allegedly inducted into Cosa Nostra while being held at the Metropolitan Detention Centre in Brooklyn. The ceremony was supposedly conducted by then acting boss Andrew Mush Russo. Amazingly, the FBI claimed that elements of the induction ceremony had been captured on videotape. However, when asked to produce the footage, the FBI admitted that unfortunately the tape had been erased. As one newspaper reported, Federal prosecutors would show a bombshell video of a mobster becoming a made man behind bars. But there's one problem. A prison official erased the tape. 
The feds claim that Ilario Fat Larry Sessa was inducted into the Colombo crime family at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn by then acting boss Andrew Mush Russo after more than 100 gangsters were rounded up by the feds in January 2011. An FBI agent said he saw the video, which showed several defendants variously entering and exiting Andrew Russo's cell, according to papers. The agent requested a DVD copy of the tape, but a prison staffer failed to properly burn the video. So the agent contacted the prison for a new copy, but was told that the original tape had been overwritten, prosecutors stated. In the comments below, let me know of any other unusual mafia induction ceremonies that you can think of. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.